businessman pretends to be poor and starts working at McDonald's, and his fiancée's family treats him like this. Jack Thompson was a 35-year-old man who had everything anyone could desire. Owner of one of the largest technology companies in the country, he had built an empire from scratch. With his business talent and innovative vision, his fortune was estimated in billions, and his face regularly graced the covers of business magazines. Despite his professional success, Jack felt that something was missing in his life. He had recently ended a long and painful relationship and now found himself alone at the top. People treated him differently because of his wealth and fame, and he longed for genuine connections. It was then that he met Emily at a charity event. She was a 28-year-old teacher from a humble background who worked at a public school in the inner city. Jack was immediately enchanted by her simplicity, intelligence, and passion for making a difference in her students' lives. The two began dating, and Jack fell head over heels in love. For the first time in years, he felt truly happy and fulfilled. Emily loved him for who he was, not for what he owned. With her, Jack could be himself, without the pressures and expectations that came with his position. After six months of dating, Jack decided he wanted to propose to Emily. However, before taking that step, he wanted to make sure that her family would accept him not for his money, but for who he was as a person. It was then that Jack had a bold idea. He would pose as an ordinary man and get a job at McDonald's to meet Emily's family without them knowing his true identity. This way, he could see how he would be treated if he were just another common worker. Jack talked to Emily and explained his plan. She was surprised at first, but understood his motivations and agreed to keep the secret. For all intents and purposes, Jack would be introduced as a McDonald's employee who was starting life from scratch after moving to a new city. In the following weeks, Jack prepared his disguise. He grew a beard, cut his hair differently, and exchanged his expensive suits for simple clothes. He rented a small apartment in the suburbs and a used car. With the help of contacts, he managed to get a real job at McDonald's, starting as a cashier. The reality shock was immense in the first few days. Jack, used to giving orders and making decisions that impacted thousands of people, now had to deal with impatient customers, clean bathrooms, and prepare meals in the hot and busy kitchen. The work was exhausting, and his body ached at the end of each shift. But gradually, Jack adapted and even started to like the experience. He made friends with his co-workers, simple and hardworking people who welcomed him without knowing who he really was. Jack was surprised to realize how much he learned from them about resilience, teamwork, and finding joy in small things. After a month in this new routine, Jack was finally introduced to Emily's family. Her parents, Mr. Robert and Mrs. Linda, were a middle-aged couple who had raised three children with great effort. The father was a construction worker and the mother a housekeeper. Emily's two brothers, Mike and Sarah, also had modest jobs and struggled to support their own families. The first meeting was a dinner at Emily's parents' simple house. Jack was nervous, but was greeted with warm smiles and a tight hug from Mrs. Linda. The abundant table although with simple dishes, showed the affection with which the family received him. During dinner, the conversation flowed naturally. The family wanted to know more about Emily's new boyfriend. Jack told the story they had agreed upon. He was from another city, had come to start over, and was working at McDonald's while looking for other opportunities. The family's reaction was mixed. Mrs., Linda, and Sarah were welcoming and asked questions with genuine interest. Mr. Robert, more reserved, observed Jack with an evaluating look. Mike, the older brother, was the most critical. And what are your plans for the future, Jack? Do you intend to stay at McDonald's forever? How do you plan to support my sister with that salary? 
Jack felt the discomfort, in the air but responded calmly. I'm grateful for the opportunity at McDonald's, but I continue to seek growth. I take online courses in my spare time and hope to get a better position soon. The most important thing is that I love your sister and will do everything possible to make her happy. Emily squeezed his hand under the table, giving him support. The rest of the evening passed without major embarrassments, but Jack could feel that not everyone was convinced. In the following weeks, Jack continued his role and got closer to Emily's family, Mrs. Linda treated him like a son, always worried if he was eating well and offering packed lunches to take to work. Mr. Robert gradually lowered his guard and even invited Jack to help him with some construction work on weekends. Sarah and her husband were also receptive, often inviting the couple for barbecues and Sunday afternoons. Jack felt increasingly part of that loving and united family. Mike, however, remained skeptical. He constantly made comments about Jack's financial situation and insinuated that Emily deserved someone in a better position. This caused tension at family gatherings and deeply hurt Emily. One day, after two months in this situation, something happened that changed everything. Jack was in the middle of his shift at McDonald's when a group of executives entered the restaurant. Among them was his best friend and business partner, Tom, who didn't know about his plan. Tom was shocked to see Jack wearing the uniform and working at the cash register. Before Jack could explain, Tom exclaimed loudly, Jack Thompson? What the hell are you doing here? You're a billionaire, owner of the largest technology company in the country. The entire restaurant fell silent. Jack's colleagues looked on in bewilderment, not understanding what was happening. Jack felt his blood run cold, knowing that his disguise had been completely ruined. At that moment, as if by fate, Emily entered McDonald's with her entire family. They had planned to surprise Jack by bringing him lunch. The scene they found was one of complete confusion. What's going on here? Asked Mr. Robert, looking from Jack to Tom. Jack knew there was no way to hide the truth anymore. He asked his manager for a few minutes and took everyone to a private room. There, with a heavy heart, he revealed the whole truth about his identity and the reason for his plan. The reaction was one of shock and disbelief. Emily, although she knew the truth, was pale at seeing the plan crumble in this way. Mrs. Linda brought her hands to her face, unable to believe she had offered packed lunches to a billionaire. Mike oscillated between anger and shame for his previous attitudes. Why did you do this? Why did you lie to all of us? Asked Mr. Robert his voice a mixture of hurt and confusion. Jack took a deep breath and began to explain. I know what I did may seem wrong, but my intentions were pure. All my life, I've been judged and treated differently because of my money. When I met Emily and fell in love, for the first time, I felt that someone loved me for who I was, not for what I had. I wanted to make sure that her family would accept me like that too, without the influence of my fortune. He continued, looking into each one's eyes. In these two months, you welcomed me as family. Mrs. Linda, your packed lunches and your affection made me feel a mother's love that I hadn't had in years. Mr. Robert, working by your side, I learned more about integrity and hard work than in all my years as a businessman. Sarah, Mike, you showed me the value of family unity. Jack turned to Emily, taking her hands. Emily, my love for you has only grown in this time. Seeing how you are loved and how you love your family only made me even more certain that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Then, to everyone's surprise, Jack knelt down and took out a small box from his pocket. Emily, will you accept me as your husband, with all my flaws and craziness, to share a life together? The silence in the room was palpable. All eyes were on Emily, who had tears running down her face. After what seemed like an eternity, she finally spoke. 
Jack, what you did was crazy, but it was a crazy act of love. I love you for the man you are, whether you're a billionaire or a McDonald's employee. Yes, I accept to marry you. The couple embraced under emotional applause from the family. Mrs. Linda was openly crying. While Mr. Robert tried to disguise his emotion, Sarah hugged her husband, happy for her sister. Mike, however, remained serious. When things calmed down, he approached Jack. I owe you an apology, Jack. I judged you unfairly, based only on your apparent financial situation. You proved to be a man of character, willing to do anything for my sister's happiness. I hope you can forgive me and that we can start over. Jack smiled and hugged his future brother-in-law. There's nothing to forgive, Mike. Your concern for Emily only shows how much you love her. I'm happy to be part of this family. In the days that followed, the story of the billionaire disguised as a McDonald's employee went viral in the media. Many found Jack's attitude romantic, while others criticized the lie. For Jack and Emily, however, the most important thing was that now they could live their love openly. With the family's blessing, the couple decided to use the media attention for something positive. They created a foundation to help low-income youth access quality education and job opportunities. Jack didn't completely abandon his McDonald's experience. He implemented policies in his company to value employees at all levels, inspired by what he had experienced. He also kept in touch with his former colleagues, offering growth opportunities for those who wished. Jack and Emily's wedding was a simple and intimate event, reflecting the values that united them. They opted for a ceremony in the backyard of Emily's parents' house, with only close family and friends. Mrs. Linda insisted on preparing the banquet herself with the help of Sarah and her new daughter-in-law. In the years that followed, Jack and Emily built a life based on love, mutual respect, and the desire to make a difference in the world. Emily continued her work as a teacher, now with resources to implement innovative projects in public schools. Jack, in turn, found a new purpose in using his wealth and influence for social causes. Emily's family remained united and close, with Jack truly integrated as a son and brother. Sunday lunches at Mrs. Linda and Mr. Robert's house became a sacred tradition where titles and bank accounts didn't matter. Only love and family unity. Five years after the unusual marriage proposal at McDonald's, Jack and Emily received news that would crown their happiness. They were expecting their first child. The pregnancy was received with joy by the whole family, and the future grandparents could barely contain their excitement. During the pregnancy, Emily and Jack decided they wanted to raise their child with the same values that had united them. They agreed to live more simply, moving to a comfortable, but unpretentious house. Jack reduced his workload at the company to be more present in the family, delegating more responsibilities to his trusted executives. The birth of little Olivia brought a new dynamic to the family. Mrs. Linda practically moved into the couple's house in the first few months, insisting on helping with the baby. Mr. Robert discovered a new vocation as a doting grandfather, always inventing wooden toys for his granddaughter. Mike, who had previously been the most critical, became the most doting uncle. He and Jack developed a close friendship, often going out together to fish or watch football games. The initial distrust had transformed into a bond of brotherhood. As Olivia grew, Jack and Emily strived to keep her connected to her roots and aware of the privileges she had. They encouraged her to participate in volunteer work from an early age and made sure she understood the value of work and empathy. When Olivia turned five, Jack had an idea that, at first, frightened Emily. 
He wanted their daughter to spend a month living with her grandparents in the simple house where Emily grew up. After much discussion, Emily agreed, understanding the importance of that experience for their daughter's character formation. That month was transformative for Olivia. She learned to fix things with her grandfather, helped her grandmother in the garden, and experienced a routine very different from what she was used to. When she returned home, the girl was full of stories and with a new perspective on life. This experience became an annual tradition. Every year, Olivia spent a month with her grandparents, away from luxury and technology, learning values that no expensive school could teach. Over time, her cousins joined her in these vacations at grandparents' house, creating precious memories and strengthening family bonds. As the years passed, Jack and Emily's story continued to inspire people. They were often invited to give talks about love, family, and social responsibility. Their foundation grew, positively impacting the lives of thousands of young people across the country. When Olivia turned 15, Jack and Emily decided it was time to tell her the whole story of how they met and fell in love, including the period when Jack disguised himself as a McDonald's employee. The teenager was fascinated by the narrative and gained a new respect for her parents and the journey they had taken. Inspired by her parents' story, Olivia asked to work part-time at a fast food restaurant during school holidays. Jack and Emily, although concerned, understood their daughter's desire to have this experience and agreed on the condition that she keep up her grades and extracurricular activities. This experience was fundamental for Olivia. Just like her father years before, she learned valuable lessons about teamwork, customer service, and the reality of many workers. More than ever, she valued her parents' teachings about humility and empathy. Meanwhile, Jack's company continued to thrive, but with a different philosophy. Inspired by his experience at McDonald's, and the values of his adoptive family, Jack had implemented progressive policies of employee benefits, continuing education programs, and a strong commitment to corporate social responsibility. The company was often cited as an example of how business success could go hand in hand with employee and community well-being. Emily, in turn, had become a nationally recognized educator. Her experience as a public school teacher combined with the resources she now had at her disposal, allowed her to develop innovative education programs that were being adopted in schools across the country. She never lost her passion for teaching and continued to give classes regularly, believing that direct contact with students was essential to understanding the real needs of education. Emily's family had also gone through transformations over the years, with the discreet help of Jack and Emily, they had all managed to improve their living conditions, but maintain their essence and values. Mr. Robert, although retired, still liked to work on small construction projects, now more for pleasure than necessity. Mrs. Linda continued to be the heart of the family, always gathering everyone for lunches and celebrations. Mike, who at first had been the most critical of Jack, was now his great friend and partner in various social projects. He had become an active advocate for workers' rights, often collaborating with Jack and Emily's foundation on initiatives aimed at professional training. Sarah, Emily's sister, had followed in her sister's footsteps and become a teacher. With Jack and Emily's support, she had opened a community school in the inner city, offering quality education to children from low-income families. When Olivia turned 18 and was about to go to college, Jack and Emily had a serious conversation with her. They offered her the option of taking on a role in the family business or following her own path, whatever it might be. To their surprise, Olivia expressed the desire to first work for a few years in different sectors, including NGOs and startups, before deciding her future in the company. 
Jack and Emily were moved by their daughter's maturity and social awareness. They fully supported her decision, proud to see how the values they had cultivated were flourishing in the next generation. As Olivia embarked on her own journey, Jack and Emily reflected on the path they had taken. What had begun as an unusual plan of a billionaire disguising himself as a McDonald's employee had turned into a story of love, family, and personal and social transformation that had impacted not only their lives, but those of countless others. They had learned that true wealth was not in bank accounts or titles, but in the bonds we create, the lives we touch, and the love we share. The family they had built, not just between themselves, but including Emily's parents and siblings, was their greatest treasure. On a quiet night, as they watched the sunset from their porch, Jack held Emily's hand and said softly, You know, every day I'm grateful for having had the courage to disguise myself and work at McDonald's. It was the best decision I ever made in my life. Emily smiled, leaning back on her husband's shoulder, and I'm grateful for having had the patience to put up with this craziness of yours. But you're right, it was the best thing that could have happened to us. At that moment, the phone rang. It was Olivia calling from the small NGO where she was doing volunteer work in an underprivileged community. She was excited, telling them about a project she had developed to teach technology skills to young people in the area. As they listened to their daughter's enthusiasm, Jack and Emily exchanged a look of pride and love. They knew that, regardless of the path Olivia chose, she would carry with her the values of empathy, hard work, and social responsibility that they had cultivated over the years. Jack and Emily's story was a powerful reminder that true love can overcome any obstacle, that appearances can be deceiving, and that the most valuable lessons often come from the most unexpected places. Their legacy was not just the material wealth they had accumulated, but the positive impact they had made on the world and the values they had passed on to the next generation. And so, as the sun set on the horizon, Jack and Emily embraced, grateful for every moment of their unlikely journey. They knew that no matter what the future held, they would face it together with the love and support of their family as their greatest strength. In the years that followed, Jack and Emily's story continued to unfold in surprising and inspiring ways. Olivia, after her years of experience in different sectors, decided to return to the family business, but with a unique vision shaped by her experiences. She proposed a bold restructuring of the company, transforming it into a conglomerate of social businesses. The idea was to use the company's technology and resources to create innovative solutions for social and environmental problems while maintaining a sustainable business model. Jack, impressed with his daughter's vision, decided to pass control of the company to Olivia, taking on a role as mentor and advisor. Emily, in turn, expanded her work in education, creating a teacher training institute that revolutionized the way educators were prepared in the country. The transition was not without challenges. There was resistance from some more conservative shareholders and executives who feared that the new focus on social impact could affect profits. However, Olivia proved to be a capable leader, skillfully balancing business needs with her social mission. One of the first projects under Olivia's leadership was the development of a free online education platform offering high-quality courses to people in remote or low-income areas. The project, which combined the company's technological expertise with Emily's educational experience, quickly became a success, reaching millions of students across the country. Another innovative project was the creation of a blockchain-based microcredit network which allowed small entrepreneurs in underprivileged communities to access fair and transparent financing. This initiative 
not only generated financial returns for the company, but also boosted economic development in neglected areas. Meanwhile, Jack and Emily, now in their 60s, decided it was time to realize an old dream, to travel the world, not as tourists, but as volunteers in social projects. They spent the next few years traveling from country to country, sharing their experiences and knowledge, and learning from diverse cultures and communities. During these travels, Jack and Emily made a surprising discovery. In a small village in India, they met a young social entrepreneur named Priya, whose story was incredibly similar to theirs. Priya, coming from a wealthy family, had disguised herself as a common worker to better understand the needs of her community. Inspired by this coincidence, Jack and Emily decided to create a global network of undercover entrepreneurs. People willing to step out of their comfort zone to truly understand and address social problems authentically. This network quickly expanded, connecting business leaders, activists, and social innovators from around the world. Back in the United States, the company under Olivia's leadership continued to thrive and innovate. One of her most ambitious projects was the development of affordable clean energy technologies for low-income communities. This project not only reduced the carbon footprint of these communities, but also generated jobs and stimulated the local economy. The foundation, created by Jack and Emily years before, had become a powerhouse in the social sector, now led by Sarah, Emily's sister. The foundation focused on education, health, and community development programs, working closely with Olivia's company to implement innovative technological solutions. Mike, Emily's brother, who had initially been skeptical of Jack, was now a respected politician, advocating for progressive social welfare and labor rights policies. He often cited his family's story as an example of how empathy and understanding can overcome prejudices and create positive changes. When Jack and Emily celebrated their 40th wedding anniversary, the family decided to commemorate in a unique way. They organized a large charity event at the same McDonald's where it all began. The restaurant was transformed for the occasion, with Jack's former colleagues being guests of honor. During the event, Jack and Emily announced the creation of a scholarship fund for fast food workers and their children, offering opportunities for higher education and professional training. This initiative was received with great emotion, especially by those who had worked with Jack during his undercover time. Olivia, now a respected business leader in her own right, gave an emotional speech about her parents' legacy. She spoke about how her father's courage in disguising himself and her mother's strength in supporting this crazy decision had shaped not only their family, but an entire generation of business and social leaders. My parents taught me that true leadership begins with empathy and understanding, said Olivia. They showed that it's possible to be successful in business and still maintain integrity and commitment to social good. This lesson is something I carry with me every day and hope to pass on to my own children. The event at McDonald's went viral, with Jack and Emily's story once again capturing the public's imagination. This time, however, it wasn't just the story of a disguised billionaire, but a testimony to the power of love, family, and commitment to positive social change. In the years that followed, Jack and Emily continued to be an inspiring force, not just for their family, but for everyone around them. They were often invited to give lectures at universities and conferences, sharing their unique story and the lessons they had learned along the way. One of these lectures led to an unexpected development. A student in the audience inspired by Jack's story decided to do something similar. He was the heir to a large fortune, but decided to spend a year working in low-wage jobs to better understand the struggles of ordinary workers. His experience, 
which he documented in an anonymous blog, generated a movement of undercover heirs that quickly spread around the world. This movement brought a new wave of social awareness among privileged young people, many of whom were inspired to use their wealth and influence in more responsible and impactful ways. Jack and Emily were invited to be mentors to this movement, guiding the new generation on how to balance privilege with social responsibility. As Jack and Emily aged, they began to think about their legacy. They decided that most of their fortune would be donated to philanthropic causes after their deaths, leaving just enough to ensure their descendants had a comfortable life, but not excessively luxurious. We want our grandchildren and great-grandchildren to understand the value of hard work and empathy, Emily explained in an interview. We don't want them to be defined by wealth, but by the values they live by and the positive impact they have on the world. This decision was widely praised and inspired other billionaires to follow suit, leading to a significant increase in philanthropic donations worldwide. When Jack turned 80, the family organized a special celebration. Instead of a luxurious party, they organized a day of community service in various cities across the country. Thousands of people joined them, working on projects ranging from revitalizing schools to cleaning parks and beaches. During this event, Jack gave an emotional speech. When I disguised myself as a McDonald's employee so many years ago, I was looking for something I didn't know I already had, a family. What I found was much more than that. I found a new perspective on life, a new purpose, and a deeper understanding of what really matters. Today, looking at all of you, at the impact we've managed to create together, I feel immense gratitude. This journey has taught us that true wealth is not in money but in the connections we make and the lives we touch. Jack's words deeply touched everyone present, reinforcing the lasting impact that his impulsive decision of years ago had had on so many lives. As time passed, Jack and Emily's story became a kind of modern legend, inspiring books, movies, and even a Broadway musical. But for the family, the true legacy was in the lives that had been transformed and the values that had been passed down from generation to generation. Olivia, now a mother of three, was determined to pass on the lessons she had learned from her parents. She implemented a program in the company where all employees, regardless of their position, spent a month each year working in frontline roles. This not only improved understanding and empathy within the organization, but also led to significant innovations based on employees' direct experiences. Jack and Emily's eldest granddaughter, Sophie, followed in her grandmother's footsteps and became an educator. She developed an innovative school curriculum that incorporated practical work experiences and community service helping students develop empathy and social awareness from an early age. The youngest grandson, Lucas, inspired by his grandfather's story, decided to do something radical. He gave up his inheritance and went to live in an underprivileged community for a year, documenting his experience in a popular podcast. His journey opened many eyes to the realities of inequality and inspired a new wave of activism among young people. Meanwhile, the global network of undercover entrepreneurs that Jack and Emily had initiated continued to grow and evolve. It became a powerful movement with members on every continent working to create positive changes in their communities. The movement generated numerous social innovations and helped shape public policies in various countries. As Jack and Emily entered their 90s, they spent more time reflecting on their journey and mentoring the next generation of social leaders. They wrote a book together, Disguises of Love, which became an international bestseller, inspiring millions with their story of love,
courage, and social transformation. On their 60th wedding anniversary, Jack and Emily decided to renew their vows. The ceremony was held in the backyard of the simple house where they had first met, with Mr. Robert, now over 100 years old, and Mrs. Linda proudly watching. The entire family was present, including their children, grandchildren, and even some great-grandchildren. During the ceremony, Emily looked into Jack's eyes and said, When you appeared in my life, disguised as a McDonald's employee, I could never have imagined the incredible adventure we would have together. You not only changed my life, but touched the lives of so many people around us. Our love proved that appearances really are deceiving, and that a person's true value lies in their character and actions. Jack, with tears in his eyes, replied, Emily, you taught me the true meaning of wealth. With you, I learned that love, family, and service to others are the greatest treasures we can have. Thank you for accepting me. Not for what I had, but for who I was. You made me a better man, a better father, and a better person. The renewal of vows was live-streamed to millions of people around the world, many of whom had been inspired by the couple's story over the years. Social media was flooded with messages of gratitude and stories of how Jack and Emily had impacted lives. In the years that followed, Jack and Emily continued to be a source of inspiration and wisdom for everyone around them. They spent most of their time with family, enjoying the company of their grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and occasionally participating in special events related to the causes they supported. When Jack passed away peacefully at 98, followed by Emily a few months later, the entire world paid tribute. World leaders, celebrities, and ordinary people shared how the couple had touched their lives. Thousands attended the funeral, which was more a celebration of life than an occasion for mourning. Jack and Emily's legacy lived on through their actions and the lives they had impacted. The company they had built continued to be a leader in social innovation and sustainability. The foundation they had created expanded its reach, becoming one of the largest philanthropic organizations in the world. And the undercover entrepreneurs movement they had inspired continued to grow with thousands of people around the world following in their footsteps. But perhaps the greatest testament to their impact was seen in the lives of their descendants and the countless people who had been touched by their story. Each of them carried a bit of Jack and Emily's spirit, the courage to challenge appearances, the determination to make a difference, and the unwavering belief in the power of love and empathy to transform the world. Years after their passing, Jack and Emily's story continued to be told and retold, inspiring new generations to look beyond appearances, to value honest work, and to use their resources, whatever they may be, to make the world a better place. Their legacy was living proof that a single courageous action, born of love and curiosity, can trigger a wave of positive changes that extends far beyond our individual lives. And so, the story of the billionaire who disguised himself as a McDonald's employee was not just about a rich man experiencing the life of the common worker. It was a story of love, of family, of breaking down social barriers, and of personal and social transformation. It was a reminder that, in the end, it's not our titles or bank accounts that define who we are, but our actions, our relationships, and the impact we leave on the world. Jack and Emily's legacy continued to inspire future generations to question their own assumptions, to seek understanding beyond their social bubbles, and to use their privileges for the greater good. Their story became a symbol of hope and a call to action, reminding everyone that a person's true value is not in what they possess, but in what they are willing to give. And so, in a world often divided by differences in class and status, 
Jack and Emily's story remained a beacon of hope, a reminder that love, empathy, and the courage to see beyond appearances have the power to transcend barriers and transform lives. Their legacy continued to inspire people to see beyond appearances, to value human connections above material wealth, and to use their resources, whatever they may be, to make a positive difference in the world. The final lesson of their story was clear. Sometimes you need to disguise yourself to truly reveal yourself. And in the process, you can not only find true love, but also discover your true calling and the power we have to change the world around us.